With Adobe Presenter 11, you can publish e-learning modules created with PowerPoint directly to HTML5, keeping text, shapes, audio, animations, and slide transitions intact. To publish your course to HTML5 format, go to the Adobe Presenter ribbon and click Publish. In the Publish Presentation dialog, select the HTML5 and click Publish. Then deploy the published course to an LMS or a web server. Now let's view this course on an iPad browser and see the changes in the course interface and navigation controls. To see the play bar, go ahead and tap anywhere on the screen. This will bring up the play bar. On this play bar, you can go ahead and play or pause the content. You can also access the table of contents by tapping on the table of contents button, which will bring up the slides thumbnails for you. To get a better view of the table of contents, click the arrow on top of the table of contents. This will bring up the table of contents in full screen view. Tap the table of contents button again and bring it back to that normal position. And now to close the table of contents, go ahead and tap it again. To see the closed captions, go ahead and tap the closed captions button on the right corner. Here you can view all the captions available for this particular screen. You can also check out the presenter information by tapping on the eye icon on the top right corner, or if you have any presenter video, you can tap the button next to it, which will be enabled if there is a video. You can also navigate through the course by swiping left or right through the screen. You can also pinch and zoom the content on the screen and respond to the different questions available in the course. Now let's close this course on the tablet and open the course on desktop. You'll notice the difference in course interface and navigation controls. While publishing the course, you can also select the both option. This will allow you to have both SWF and HTML5 versions of courses packaged as a single course, and we have the bookmarking feature enabled. If the learners play the course on the desktop, they will see the SWF version, and on the iPad, they will see the HTML5 version.